What's up, Opez? Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be telling you the truth of why I became an au pair. So, I got my degree, I got an IT degree, and I didn't feel as though I was ready to go into the corporate world just yet. To be honest, I couldn't see myself sitting behind a desk from like 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. like a normal job. I couldn't really see myself in that setting. And so I was very lost as to what I wanted to do with my life and where I wanted my life to lead, like career-wise. And so I did like part-time jobs here and there, bartending and working at music festivals and stuff like that. Um, but there was always that pressure in the back of my mind that that I was putting on myself that okay you need to start your career and get your get a job start your career and because I mean that that's the way society makes it out to be it's like you go to high school you go to university then you graduate and then you get a job and then you live the rest of your life so the whole all parent thing many all pairs they come out of high school and then they use this as their gap year so they'll come to america to be an au pair and then once their year is done or their two years is done they go back to their home country and they go back to study and then they carry on and then they get another job or whatever they do with their lives but they they come here as their gap year and then they go back to study in their home country with me though i kind of did it the other way around so i went from high school to university then coming here as like a gap year, travel year, whatever you want to call it. And so that's why I'm also a little bit of an older au pair. So I'm 26 next month. And so I'm also on like the cusp of like the limit, the, or like the age range to be an au pair, which is 18 to 26. So with me already being here, I can still be, I can do the two years. Um, and so anyways, back to my story. So. I felt very lost. I didn't know where I wanted my life to lead, like career-wise. And so the idea of being an au pair came to me because my cousin was actually an au pair in America. He did it a few years prior. I can't remember how long ago. School bus. So I knew of the whole au pair program because of my cousin as he was an au pair years before me. Um, and so I started looking into it more because I've always been surrounded by children and I do have a love for kids. So it kind of did make sense because also it would be, I would be au pairing in America and it was always a dream of mine to come here and to just experience America and experience the people and the culture and all of that. So that was always a big dream of mine. So I saw the opportunity to realize this dream and it just kind of just worked out. Like in my mind, it seemed like the right move for me to make. So I needed to become more independent. I needed to get out of my comfort zone and actually become an adult. And so I felt that the only way to do that was for me to move away from my comfort zone, which is my family and friends. So I kind of did it a little bit drastically by moving like halfway across the world. But I, f I don't regret coming here whatsoever. Like this will be undoubtedly the best year of my life. And I've already grown so much. It's not, I'm not the same Jared from the beginning of the year. And so I can't wait to see what the rest of the year has in store for me. And it's just very, very exciting. Although it is difficult to be away from my family and friends, I don't regret this one single bit because I just know that this will help me become the person that I'm truly meant to be. And I will find out so much about myself from doing this. This has been the longest time that I've ever been away from, from home. And so before coming into this, before getting on my flight, I was extremely scared because it's not me to be the one to go and venture off. Like I'm not outgoing like that whatsoever. It is actually weird that I went ahead and did this. And like I was completely excited for it. But deep down I was terribly terribly scared because I would be away from my family and friends and I would have to do this all on my own so I was very very scared but once I arrived here I just dealt with it and if you're ever hesitant about this whole program 
then I mean like you can message me or whatever and like we can talk it through or you can hit me up on my Instagram <laughs> shameless plug <laughs> but it will undoubtedly be one of the best years of your life and you will you will find out things about yourself that you would have never been able to had you had still been in your home country so traveling and coming to a new country is one of the best things a young person can do to fully learn about themselves and what they're truly capable of. My advice is that if you want to, okay, well, you kind of don't have a choice. You kind of have to become an adult because um, adulting is hard. It's, it's not fun. Like I wish I was back still in high school. But anyways, um, my advice is that if you want to be slowly integrated into how it is to be an adult, then being an au pair is like the perfect option for you because you kind of come here and you live not necessarily on your own, but I mean, you still have to fend for yourself. You still have to become independent and do things. Like you have to cook for the kids. If you don't know how to cook, you have to learn how to cook and you have to do your own laundry and make your own doctor's appointments or dentist's appointments, like all of that and like do grocery shopping, like all of the adult things, like you learn to do that as soon as you get here because no one else is going to do it for you. Another reason is that I kind of felt like I wanted a clean slate. And I'd, I'd, I'd felt that way for quite a long time. And this was like the perfect option because I, I knew no one here whatsoever. I mean, I'd spoken to my host family and my host kids, but I didn't know anyone here, which is why it was perfect for me to start my clean slate off here in America. When you move here, it's kind of like you're creating a whole new life. I mean, you're gonna make new friends. You're gonna be in a new family. You're gonna find out things about yourself that you never knew were like in you. Like, I mean, your personality will change a little bit. Um, you'll become more confident and um, a lot of you will become better English speakers if you don't speak English from the get-go. So I've always been pretty much an introvert, but it's weird because I do have like extroverted tendencies. Like I do like to be in social situ Like I do like to be in social situations and whatnot. So I think, my back's itchy. So I think the correct term is like an, an introverted extrovert or extroverted introvert or whatever it's called. But yo, I'm one of those. And so it was like ideal for me to come here because then it would force me to get out of my comfort zone and stop being such an introvert. And it was the only way I was really going to grow. So I was kind of like using this as like to force myself to grow and get out of that introverted state of mind kind of a thing. So that's why I say that your personality will change a bit because as I said priorly, priorly, as I said, as I said before, I'm not the same Joe from like, if I have to go and visit my family and my friends, they'll see me and be like, you're a different Jared, but like different in a good way. Like I'm becoming the better, the best version of myself, which is what anyone could really hope for. So coming here, it has forced me to actually like talk to people and actually initiate conversation with people because that's the only way you're going to make friends. And also if people hear that you have an accent, it just works out like amazingly for you because then they want to know your whole story. So, I mean, you just have to say like, hello, and then they'll hear the accent and then they'll just start asking you questions, which is how conversations work. And from there you can make friends. So it's just, it is a lot easier like that. So use your accent to your advantage, without a doubt, use it to your advantage. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for taking this time out to learn a little bit more about why I decided to become an au pair. And I hope that I've given you some reasons as to why it may be a good idea for you. So if you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you aren't already. I will see you in the next video. I'm out and roll the outro. <laughs> Almost forgot. <laughs> Oh,